Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm proposing my topic proposal is all about COVID-19 related information dissemination through visuals the Philippine context. Early response to COVID-19 in the Philippines by Amit et al. 2021. Travel restrictions. Government conducted contact tracing and imposed additional travel restrictions with areas from restricted countries subject to 14-day quarantine and testing. Community intervention. Quarantine consisted of strict home quarantine in all household, physical, distancing, suspension of class, and introduction of work from home. Closure of public transport and non-essential business establishments, among others. ECQ gave the country the opportunity to mobilize resources and organ organize its pandemic response, which was especially important in a country with poorly distributed scarce resources and capacity. Risk communication. Government conducted daily press briefings, sponsored health-related television and internet advertisements, and circulated infographics on social media. Misinformation and conspiracy theories about COVID-19 were nevertheless a change for a population that spends more than 10 hours a day in it on the internet. Testing. Because of the limited capacities for testing at the start of pan the pandemic, the Department of Health imposed strict protocols to ration testing resources while ramping up testing capacity. More tests were conducted for individuals in urban areas where the incidence was the highest. First COVID-19 infections in the Philippines, a case report. The first suspected case in the Philippines was investigated on January 22, 2020 and 633 suspected cases were reported as of March 1. As you can see here, okay, this is a transfer of the pandemic. Where it starts the history of Wuhan, China, the person who spread here. January 20, 2021. To January 20, 2020, Wuhan to Hong Kong. January 21, 2020, Hong Kong to Cebu, Philippines. January 22, 2020, Cebu to Maguete. To January 25, 2020, the Begeta to Manila. And this is the legends where you can find the location of the okay, the transfer of the virus. What are the initiatives and communication protocols? Lockdown messaging ECQ MECQ 2020. Wherein it's already post in April 2020. The third decide on Luzon wide lockdown this week. And that's why it's already implemented the ECQ, modified ECQ and GCQ because this already said by the president. And this is the definitions of the ECQ, modified ECQ and GCQ. And after that, we already have the voluntary ECQ where the, there is the social gatherings there. We don't need the government to put us on ECQ. We can do it voluntarily. Let's do it for our healthcare workers, for ourselves and families. AMD and NCR mayors ready to implement new lockdown system. That's why they're ready the color codings there. The green mark, which it says allowed with safety protocols, partially allowed, the yellow, minimum 50% from work from home and minimum 50% on site. And then the red is not allowed. Okay, this is the difference. Okay, this is the category 3. All are, uh, all are allowed. Category 2. Okay, nevertheless, DCQ. DCQ and ECQ. Category 3. All is red for the ECQ. Yellow, modified ECQ, and GCQ is green. Then, on the category 4, not allowed. All is red. Okay. Vaccine messaging. PH rolls out COVID-19 vaccine drive with frontliners government officials taking first shots. Wherein the Philippine government administered a total of 35.8 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines as of September 5. Of the total number of doses, 18.5 million were the were of the two-dose Sinovac vaccine. And then 
while 74% of fully vaccinated COVID-19 cases in the Philippines received Sinovac vaccine. However, in a study published in July, Chinese researchers found that antibodies triggered by Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine declined below a threshold six months after participants between the ages of 18 and 59 received the second shot. And it is the similarities between these infographics, okay? Up to November 16, 2020 to September 18, 2021. And then you will see that this is the color coding. This is a percentage of the active cases with yellow. The green is percentage of recoveries. Red is the percentage of deaths. Okay. November 6. In November 2020, this is the rate, and in June 21 September, this is the rate. This is the rate in November 2020, 91, and then in 2021, this is 90% already. Okay, 1.91% for the November 20, and then September 18, 2021 is already 1.56%. And then this is the classification of Number of positive cases and then number of tests. And then this is the percentage of the positives compared to this. Percentage of the positive, percentage of the testing. And then, okay. 95% for the mild asymptomatic in cases. As you can see here, this is the countries or cities that have cases every day. And this is the hospital. How is it available? ICU beds, isolation beds, ward, ward beds, ventilators. Okay, you will see there the difference. Okay, this is the difference of it. Okay. And this, this only for the national capital region as of now. Okay. This, and this is the active cases. Okay, the largest cases, the, la the largest percentage is the mild compared here, okay? Asymptomatic, here. Critical, here. Severe, here. Moderate, okay, that's clear. This is transportation, wherein infection risk classification of transport modes or vehicle types. This is a high to moderate risk when you choose this vehicle and this is the high risk when you choose this vehicle. Motorcycle shield versus COVID-19 can make rider loss control says expert in July 2020 and the government to impose motorcycle shield used by July 20. As you can see here in this image this is the motorcycle and this is the person here and it collaborates a warning signals because this is not the the very position in driving with the car for the vehicle for the motorcycle because it causes an humiliation and accident with this topic. Okay, do you know who is this person? This is Dr. Tony Lachon. Who is Dr. Tony Lachon? He is the COVID-19 Task Force Advisor and Health Reform Advocate published in April 2020. And then in April 2021, Lachon said that we're back to square one and worse of than the last year. I think he says that the worst cases for the all cases, then we're back again to the quarantine, I think. And then on, on April 2021, Duterte admits that pH COVID-19 vaccine supplies barely to, enough to inoc inoculate Health workers. This is already April 2021 with this car news currency. Okay. Mike Defensor and Dr. Tony Lachon. Mike Defensor. Doc DOH said doctors' licenses may be revoked if they prescribe I ivermectin. And then the lawmakers distribute unregistered ivermectin products. How visuals or graphics are utilized in sharing or disseminating information related to COVID-19? Problems, challenges, and prospects. In my, op in my own opinion, we need to be critical of the impulsive and non-science-based decisions made by the government. 
which made the reality worse. Medicines and is not suitable like ivermectin and low efficacy of Sinovac have be, have placed the country at risk. Government should have listened to experts who can provide science-based recommendations. That's all. Thank you for your presentation. Academic paper of this COVID-19.